What's cracking? What's cracking? What's cracking? Where we at? <clears throat> Where are we at today? Oh, let's see. Can I put this up? Put this. Damn, where can I put this? Alfred West, what's cracking? Jose, HP Cyclone, Sencal Native, Orale, Eric Aide, <clears throat> NV. I really am on that, she said. Mike, Mike, greetings from Ohio. Carlios, what's cracking? Raj, buenos dias, big dog. Uh, M. Gonzalez, what's cracking? How you doing? Uh, whoa, 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 whoa. Russell, the first channel member in here, what's cracking? Can you guys hear the sound effects? If not, let me know, because I'm over here hitting buttons, and I don't even know if you can hear them. <laughs> Didi, what up, though? Mr. Casey, what did you do? Oh, he said broke. Hey, what's cracking, broke? <clears throat> Big dog, what's up, Rafa? Oh, you guys can't hear him? Okay, let me put this, get this off the screen, and let's just do this. You should be able to hear that. Uh, happy Friday to you as well, Jose. Uh, Rebecca, have a blessed day. There you go. Jaime Puente, what's cracking? Jay Money, Anthony Rodriguez, what's up, big dog? Watch you on my lunch, home slice. Envy, cold and raining over here in the yay area. Uh, Sencal, can't hear it. Press something. I just went back to the other thing. I was trying to use something else. I guess I can only do that with videos. I can't do it while I'm on uh, YouTube. Got to fix that. Um, let's see. Loud and clear. No sound effects. Well, you didn't hear the last one? I didn't hear about that, Thomas. Rodney says, what's cracking, Dubs? First time catching you live. Happy Friday. Happy Friday to you as well. Albert says, sending mine from Salinas. Much love. Thank you. Likewise. Hi, man. What's cracking? What's cracking, Dubs? Taking a little... Um, can't see. Hold on. I got to wait it to, for it to bounce up. Taking taking a little, I don't know, taking a little put through the ugliest side of Chiquis. <laughs> oh, a little put. Taking a little put. Okay. Pain, pain breeds strength. Michael, South Florida saying, what's up? Shout out to South Florida. Shout out to all of Florida. Shout out to everybody everywhere. What's cracking with you guys? <clears throat> J Money says he's high. There you go. There you go. Hey, who the fuck told you to speak? Pablo? Yeah, 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 yeah. Chad Nance, what's cracking? Hey, likewise, enjoy yours. Ugly says that <laughs> ugly. Ugly T Cambino. He said, I got a silencer on that quete. It was explosions and everything. Can't use it. What's for lunch? I don't know yet. I don't know what I'm going to be doing for lunch. I've been running around. You guys know my birthday's coming up, so I've been I've been everywhere, all over the place right now. <laughs> hey, J Money says, Dubs, word around the streets, they're saying you're hating on Edgar Cuts because you want to grow your hair back. Listen, homie, if if I had to, if they told me, look, you could have your hair back, but you have to have an Edgar every day, all day. I'll be like, I'm good. This is this is more presentable to me. <laughs> uh, West Coast product says, what is Wes Watson saying in that sound clip? He's talking shit to one of the guys that pays him monthly to 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 fucking teach him how to be a better person or something. And this is what he tells him. Look. Who the fuck told you to speak? Pablo. Fucking Pablo, don't fucking speak out of turn, you son of a bitch. Ah, uh, let's see. Jose, Dubs, why is everyone misusing terms like crashing out and benders? Because they don't know what the fuck it means. <laughs> they think it's it sounds cool, I guess. I don't know. Dubs with the mullet. Gorilla says, what's up, Dubs? For uh, early morning live, boss gave us the day off. You look a little bright. You, I do. I know. I, I, I don't know what it is. You know what? Hold on. I bet you watch. This might help. Hold up. It's 
some backlighting. I think it just needed some backlighting. So I think that made it look a little bit better, right? Ugly T Campinos says hit everyone hit the like. Did I see the video of, of, of Stevie J calling out 50 Cent for the 50 Cent or light him up? 50 Cent used to box when he was younger. 70 people in the building, less than six minutes in. I appreciate you. J Money says, damn, Dubs, hit me with that. Who the fuck told you to speak, Pablo? Here you go. Who the fuck told you to speak, Pablo? Look at this little kid, eh? Let's just get rid of him. That's it. Shot his wide one time. Let's see. I use her on the channel. There you go. It's so funny when you when like you meet somebody in real life and it's all love, and then something happens down the line, and you know, and, and you still know. <laughs> uh it's hilarious. Hilarious. Um let's see. Much better. Yeah, it, it just needed a little bit of backlighting. Big Rick says, saludos, dubs. Over here working, just stopping by to give my thumbs up. I appreciate that, homeboy. Thank you. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hey, Holmes, look, 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 look. Here's something I'm going to tell you guys. <clears throat> I don't give any of the haters no energy and it kills them. They hate it, right? But let's just say something real quick. I've been on YouTube um over six years, eh? Um, I've always been the same. Right? Um, people can say, oh, but there was a couple times when you drank, I'm human. But my character, you should already know what it is. Who I am, you should be able to see. You have other people that look at, I always tell people this. People will always show you who they are if you give them a minute. They always show you who they are. So anybody that believes the, come on, host. anybody that believes the bullshit, go ahead, believe it. But I mean, I think we're talking, I think it's obvious, right? So I won't say their names. They can keep their 1.5 thousand views and swear they're blowing up. But I'm going to keep it pushing. It's all positivity over here. That's it. <clears throat> you know how I roll. Remember that one? Hold on. We're going to go back to this one. Who the fuck don't you to speak? Pablo? Carne asada nachos for lunch. You know what? When they stop giving us real meat, like for the most part, stop giving us real meat in prison. I don't like it no more. Like I, I, every now and then I'll have some meat and I should because I'm getting older. Um, but it just, it gets all in my teeth. It just, I don't like it no more. I rather, I'll eat fish all day. They tore up P Diddy's houses. They tore, wait, they tore P Diddy's houses apart. I seen a video of it. I mean, shit, good. Look at what he's done to people's lives. Allegedly. You know, when you make accusations, you're really supposed to say allegedly or else you could get sued, eh? And even though you don't have nothing, whatever you do have for the rest of your life could be taken. Give me some of that paycheck right there. A little $19 an hour. Fuck it. <laughs> Let me get 12 of that 19. Where are you going to live? Um, exactly. Senkal Negative says social media made you all way too comfortable with disrespecting people. I don't do it. I'm not into it. Seriously, like, especially on here, like, this this is not beef. Anybody that's really had beef, like, come on, homes. Hey, there's enough money for everybody. I've always said this. Whoever, whoever makes content talking shit about me, if they can get views and actually make a living off it, there's a lane for it. I can't knock it. But they can't knock me off my hustle. They can't stop me from doing what I do. And I really, I really believe in freedom of speech. Um, it's crazy the accusations people will say. Certain words, you don't use them when you're talking about a man, you know. But, you know, YouTube and social media make it, you know, comfortable for people to do that. I get it. I get it until they don't get it. 
Bo says, I'm cooking shrimp and oysters for nights. All right, let your ladies in trouble tonight. Uh, let's see. Looks like J I believe I believe Jay Z is in trouble. Eh? Like I said in my video, if they've been working on shit together for twenty five years or more, there's no way that Jay didn't know what the other guy was allegedly doing. You know what I'm saying? There, there's no way. <clears throat> what is it? Dirty has a roided out bald guy. Bald dude yelled at you after you paid him $8,000. Is your name Pablo? Then you may be entitled to financial compensation. Pablo, get that money, big dog. Or Supreme, did he do it or did he not? <laughs> that was a good one, big dog. Marcelina says, saludos from SLC, Utah. Shout out to Utah. What's cracking out there? Hold on, let's see which one. We'll give you that one. Damn, let me write this. Hold on. I got to keep track. I'm not going to be on too long. But I wanted to make sure in case I'm not able to get on tonight, which I think I still will get on tonight. Uh, I wanted to make sure I, 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 I said fuel to you guys. Take that, take that. I know hey, a lot of people say that he was always saying that in his songs, was he? Junior. You're in YouTube Yarda. I don't, I, I'm not. I'm not on, on the Yarda. I did, a, I did decades on Yardas. I'm not, believe me, I know the difference. Um, also, allegedly, I, huh? what is that? Oh, shit. He owned an island next to his. Ooh. Pain breeds strength. Michael. Jay-Z knew, show me who you walk with, and I'll tell you, yeah, that's the old saying right there. You're in a gang now. Crayon skin, what, what's cracking, big dog? DHS trying to get their combs over on. What that name? Facts, Jay-Z in that... We're going to, I mean, hey, allegedly, remember, remember, there's certain words you can't just call people. So you got to say allegedly. Damn, check out Paco. Paco, uh oh, hold it now. I wish I had like a romantic sound on this board right here. Paco is shooting his shot. Pay attention, Marcelina. Hey, Paco, first of all, sometimes a lot of these bottles on here. They're just using their lady's phone fool. Like they got out of jail and their ladies, their lady got them their phone so that the, the hind, their lady can pay attention to all their text messages. So I'm gonna read your, your thing, eh? But Paco Herte says, Marcelina, I love your name. <laughs> oh, damn. Yeah, roll call for Benji. What about a peanut butter and jelly sandwich? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Baluna says, be careful of a catfish. No, but seriously, I know a few, I, I know a few bottles on here that they they look, people think I'm bullshitting. Hey, Junior said you ain't right up. No, hey, let me let me put you guys up on game. Pay attention. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Pay attention. Some of the homies don't know. Some of the bottles don't know. If you've done some time and you got out and your lady was like, look, babe, I got you a phone, right? If she if she hooked your phone up, she can read your text messages and who knows what else. I had a homie, another life for go through that shit. So, but I'm serious. It, I don't know, Marcelina could be a, a woman, but it could. There's Look at the homie Rob from the East Side. Bruta, shout out to the East Side. Shout out to Bruta. Whoop. He has his lady's name or, so, or somebody's name. It's not his name. I'll tell you that. Uh, Russell Suttle says, I worked in the CCC right next to CMC back in the 80s in San Luis Obispo County. We had the green bologna for lunch. Oh, same as the inmates. That shit was nasty. 
but then you have to learn it. Like, are you are you talking about the um? What do they call it? Um, it's called something loaf. I think that's the one you're talking about. It's not olive loaf, but it had the uh, pimento, pimento loaf. You talking about pimento loaf? Fuck, I hated the, even the smell of that shit. DMF Productions tuning in on my work break. What's cracking right here? Just chilling. Marcelina isn't isn't answering one way or the other. Just says ha ha ha, and hit us with another five dollars. Thank you, Marcelina. I appreciate that. Jay Money says there's something I find I find something kind of crazy. I remember in 2020 I saw a documentary about all the A list celebrities in the industry. It was mostly focused on Diddy, Birdman, Little Wayne. Wow. Okay, Paco says his middle name is Marcelino. There you go. Wes Wonka is going to teach Diddy. How... No, nah, I think Diddy. Diddy's on a whole other level with that, allegedly. The hell? Um... She said, what do you mean not answering? Yeah, Dirty says, damn, coming out of prison after two or three decades and having a woman take advantage of the fact that you don't know shit about technology, cold move. It is. It is. The homie that I'm talking about actually did 29 years. So he was close to that third decade. Came out and he was like, hey, bro. He goes, hey, sometimes like the conversations I be having. He goes, later on that night, he goes, like, my lady will bring up that conversation, but I didn't have it with her. I was like, who's who's the fucking, who's, whose name is that phone under? He's like, hers. I said, get rid of it. Oh, no, Marcelina. <laughs> it's all good. Uh, Nikki, how you doing, Nikki? Samantha, hey. I read, I read. No, no, no. We were saying, I was just saying because uh, Mar uh, not Marcelino, Paco said that he really loves your name. And I said, be careful. We don't know if Marcelina is a guy or a girl, not because of anything you did, but there are dudes that their lady set their phone up. So the when they open up a YouTube channel, it's under their lady's name because they don't know how to they don't know how to fix it. Jack Knox. Says, what up, man? Love the channel. The Watson content is gold. Keep it hooped. <laughs> Watching from Chicago. That's right. Shout out to Chicago. What times? I got to keep an eye on it. I got. I can go probably 15 more minutes. <clears throat> J Money. And now I can't. That Oh, you can't find that doc. Oh, no. They probably got rid of it. Have I ever run into one of my exes at the store and they get all surprised? Um, no, but I, I, my, my daughter's mom, I went to pick up my daughter somewhere and she didn't know I was coming. She got a little surprised, but nothing major. Amber Brock, listen, listen, listen. what's cracking dubs? Shout out from the 661 AV. I have followed you for a long time, and I know you don't like to address bullshit. Of course not. Just wondering if you could clarify if he's full of shit. Why would I? Listen, I said earlier, and I'm going to say again. I've been on YouTube over six years, right? I've been the same person the whole time. I've been in relationships the whole time. Um, have the same people in my life the whole time. I don't change up. I think my character is evident. I think my morals are evident. People will show you who they are if you give them an opportunity. Now, these people that talk about me, they've been around however they've been around. You can watch them and you can judge the content of their character. By what they choose to dabble in, the words they choose to use. And that's all I'm going to say. You know, um, I've said a long time ago, and I'll say it again. I will always say this. You can tell who people have been around by how loose they are with this. If you've been around killers, you're very careful with your words. If you've been around a bunch of bitches, you'll talk like one. 
Ah, oh, what's up? Kyrie, give a percentage in your estimated opinion. Suppose Adam interviews a guest and that guest slips and admits to murder. You, well, you know what? I'm not even going to read the rest. Of it. I'm going to just say this. Adam should fucking, if somebody slips in and, and admits to anything like that, Adam should say, you know what? Hold up. Edit that shit out. I think anybody with any kind of morals would say, hey, Holmes, they, I think I would even, if it was me, I would stop the interview and be like, hey, homie, we're going to have to start over, eh? Like, you know what you just said? But I'm, you know, that platform's so big. You know what I'm saying? It's so big. And and you're dealing with somebody that I think has, um, for at, at the minimum, you're dealing, you're dealing with somebody who's a narcissist, right? And narcissism is a psychopathic trait. So I don't think this person is able to really develop personal feelings and relationships with people like a normal person. It's hard for a narcissist to be, to, to be able to do that. Uh, let's see. He, Harvey Greensman said, that's why I don't want, and that's the thing. See with me, I will never tell anybody, Hey, don't watch this. Don't watch it. I did that once. Because I was upset that my mother was brought into something. And I said that. And that was when me and me and Gil had a, we bumped heads. We gave each other our word. We would never talk about each other. And we don't. Men keep their word. Um, but I would never say, hey, don't watch their shit. If you find it interesting, fine. Um, I see they get a couple thousand views. So a couple thousand people like it. You know what I'm saying? And so, hey, if they, if they can make a living off of doing a thousand views a day then i mean i i don't know how but but there's a lane for them you know what i'm saying and i can't i will never knock nobody else's hustle um i think it's dangerous um but it's 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 i don't know it's just it's funny to me i would never put bullshit on nobody's name it's not me Pedro says, hey, Dubs, when when I started this, just tapping in to show some love and keep you and keep pushing forward with your good content from San Diego. Like you said, some people are so loose with their words. They just don't know. They don't. I mean, but. You've never heard me talk shit about these dudes. eh? You don't. I don't care who says what about me. I know who I am. See, that's the thing I tell people, people that get worried about what other people think about. Them, I'm like, hey. They don't, what they say ain't who you are. Who gives a fuck, right? Um, but we have our own thing going here. Um, there's no stopping it. It's It's been tried. It's been, it's been tried. It's no, there's no stopping it. Like, I believe that when you focus on, on positivity and you cut toxic people out of your life, you, you stay away from toxic environments your ability to grow becomes that much greater. It's when you get caught up in negative shit, you, you, you're going to stunt your growth, your potential. That's that's darkness. I'm cool with that shit. Darkness. Remember fucking, what's his name? Uh, Charlie Murphy used to say that? Darkness. Oh, shit. Marcelina says, ha ha. My boyfriend gave me my nickname, Marcelina. My name is actually Marcella. And I am a girl. I'm a woman, she said. Um, Dirty. There you go. Paco, you're in the clear, homeboy. <laughs> Did I have game with women right off the bat after I got out? I was married when I got out. But uh, I've had game my whole life, player. What's up? You need me to write something down for you? <laughs> nah, I just don't. Honestly, me personally, I don't believe in game, right? Like, you just talk to somebody. It's a conversation. Uh, Ezekiel says, 100% facts. You even play in your head what you're going to say before. Absolutely, I do. But that goes back to who I've been around in my life. You know what I'm saying? Like, once you've been around certain type of people, you do not want to be that guy. You can't, you can't change that first impression. Eh? 
Like, somebody will get loose with this around the wrong person forever. That person that's really, like, a serious person, be like, who, hey, they, you, that person's name is right. Hey, who's that? Hey, is that that fucking idiot? It's, it's, a, it's a horrible taste, and it usually winds you up getting you in a wreck sooner or later. Because that guy ain't going to forget. Uh, let's see. Junior says it's absolutely, Russell said, well said, thank you. Junior says it's absolutely vital to think before speaking. Eddie, Kule, here at, here at work looking at your life. Thank you, homeboy. Uh, no way, crazy, OG Moses says. Jose, what would, that would probably be a good video idea. What would happen to a podcaster if they get arrested? Um. Yeah, I remember uh, a lot to go from MS. Erica says, oh, I'm late. So glad you're on. What I missed. Nothing. Just right here chopping it up. I probably won't be on much longer. I have, you know, my birthday's coming up a couple of days. So I'm running around everywhere, getting everything organized, focusing on all the positivity and love in my life. I'm going to share that with the people I love. Perro Rojo, what's cracking? No, nothing good, homie. Just right here chopping it up. You know how we get down. Gianni, what's cracking? Hey, hey. No says, that was my Sally. Funny as hell. That vato was so funny, homie. Look, I told a story, and it was Largo. Um, somebody somebody had disrespected the raza. He was on our yard. It was a, it was a white dude, Ron. I told the story about Ron. And um, I was the only one that was still in the oil from when it happened. Right. So when they released yard, this was after the 96 riot in, in, in New Falls, and they slammed everything down, even the oil, even that sig, right? So when it came time for us to go out to yard, that's my hot. I'm the only, everybody else came after the dude did that, right? And they were telling me, Charlotte, you know what I mean? Because I had already picked up two other shoot terms. So they were like, Hey, take your ass to the bay. We got this. So we go out to the yard and I go up to the homie that's gonna handle it, right? <laughs> Before I went up to it, baby. So you were a seller. You know how funny that author was. <laughs> yeah. He comes up to me and he tells me, look, homie, I can't fight for shit, homie. I cannot fight for shit. But I got a good ass pedazo on me. And I know you're going to go whack this dude. I want to go with you. Eh? <laughs> he said, I will never win a fight, homie. He goes, but I, I, I carry knives and guns. So we're good. That shit was funny. Eh? Erica says, I'm in the hospital at the time, and your channel helps me feel no more. Hey, thank you. I'm glad I'm able to help you in some way like that. Kyrie, hold on. Um, the idea of game is made up as a made-up term that doesn't address luck, attributes, or just being in the right place in the right time. These dudes who say they are love coaches are just making <sighs> no shit, Holmes. No shit. I, I agree with that a thousand percent. Yeah, see, no, you already know. He said he said the same shit. He can't fight. Fucking guy. Hey, that vato was so funny. Did he ever tell you about how long he was? <laughs> hey, you guys, look. You guys already know. Hey, shout out to Largo from MS. That's the homie right there. We we're in the shoe together. We we're in New Folsom together. We we're in the oil together. Hey, he was in the county jail for six years fighting his cases. He was there for every green light his neighborhood got. <laughs> Said. By like the fourth one, he called his homies and he was like, it, they told him, hey, hey, they put the green light. And then he was like, you better not pay. I'm catching the blues left and right over here. Don't even fucking pay no more. <laughs> ah, shit. Woo. That fool was fucking hilarious, eh? OG Moses says, I have no filter. What's up, Tony? How you doing? He says, what up, Dubs? Keep the fire content up. Saludos from Richmond 510. Shout out to Richmond on the lunch break chilling. That's right. Q 
Sherry Harris says, really enjoy your content, Dubs. You're my favorite YouTube content creator. I have both learned and laughed a lot since I started following your channels. Thank you very much. I appreciate that, Sherry. Senka Native, I thought it was the Vato that had a fit. No, 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 that was a different one. <clears throat> he said his mom gave him a white name, I think Stanley, so he could get a job. Hey, but a lot of the Salvadorans, they have names like that. If you ever notice, they all have names like that. Hey, that bottle was so fucking funny, Holmes. Have I ever see, done a, a video of the funniest pegadas that I've seen that go horribly wrong? Mm -mm. I think, I mean, I did the video when that bottle from that bottle tried to whack the Filipino and the Filipino, I, sw I swear, like in my mind, there was a there was a cloud of dust, and then he was halfway across the yard. I was like, what? I know that's probably did not happen, but that was probably the funniest pegada I ever saw, I think. Damn, what the fuck, homie? I don't know what's going on, on my phone. Hey, thank you, Diana. My birthday's in a few days, but thank you. I don't know him, no. J49, what's cracking? I'm going to go ahead and, and start bringing this one here to a close. I have to get out of here. I got I got a lot of stuff I got to take care of before the birthday party. Um, I, I plan on trying to go live tonight, though, all right, you guys? So be ready. Um, but everybody, please be safe. Be smart and tell the ones you love that you love them. I'll holler at you. Hold on. Hold on. You get the free one. Okay. With the paperwork, you know how I roll with it. You know how I roll with my paperwork. I got that shit hoop. <laughs> I don't give a fuck. All right, you guys. I'll holler at you, okay? Oh, real quick. I think you mean Neto. I, I, I'm thinking if you're saying big, I'm thinking you mean Nyonyo. Nyonyo's the homie from my neighborhood that's a really big dude. All right, I'll holler at you. Thank you.